And now, KITV4 Weather. Aloha Hawaii. Welcome to Island Weather Now. I'm Oani K. Alanabaro. We're expecting no big rainmakers for this Wednesday. You can see we've got low clouds moving in out of the northeast, very typical of the trade wind flow. Those low clouds did bring in some overnight sprinkles across the state. Nothing big in the rainfall department, though. The biggest rainfall total we had was just over a tenth of an inch into Maui's West Wailua Iki Gauge. We do see a clump of clouds moving in out of the east towards the Big Island, so the Hilo side looking at some morning showers as we make our way into work and school. Now, Pacific Satellite is hinting at high pressure off to the far north, weakening. In turn, we're going to feel those trade winds drop down over the next several days. So you got to keep that fan nearby. We're going to go from warm on Wednesday to even warmer towards the ending of the work week into the upcoming weekend. I'll get to that in just a bit. Surf News Network forecast calling for two to five footers in town, one to three in occasional plus for the east side, a small south southeasterly swell rolling into town shores this weekend. That's going to pump us up just a bit from what it is at right now, but still not expecting anything near advisory level. If you're taking the boat out for the hump day of this work week, five to eight foot wind waves expected with winds out of the east northeast up to 20 knots. So again, for this Wednesday, we've got a warm day ahead, a high temperature of 89 degrees right here in Honolulu. That's what we hit on Tuesday. And believe it or not, I know it feels extra warm, but that's spot on right where we should be for this time of year. If you're heading out for Wednesday night, mostly cloudy skies. We've got some high clouds moving in out of the southwest. According to the Hawaiian moon calendar, tonight's moon phase is called Hua. Look for those trade showers to pick up overnight over those windward and Malka sections. Now again, you can see we've got no big rainmakers, but once we hit Thursday, that's when we're going to see that increase in showers right around Thursday evening, especially towards the western half of the state. And looking ahead with our extended forecast, those lighter winds take hold on Thursday, making us feel extra muggy into the weekend. And again, those increasing showers, especially for windward spots on the western half of the island chain, will start to pick up Thursday into late Saturday as well. So take your umbrellas with you this weekend.